On the table today at Squirrel Stampede, we have Despicable Me 4 Lego. Uh oh, Minion Squirrel seems to have taken command of the Minion Banana Car. Minion Squirrel, please, please watch out. That's a really nice banana car we've got built today. Oh, oh, it looks like Minion Squirrel is going to attempt to jump the Minion Mansion. Oh, this will be good to see. Okay, everybody, everybody stay good. Let's check this out. Oh, 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 there's banana everywhere. Yuck. Oh, that's disgusting. Thanks a lot, Minion Squirrel. Well, as you can see on the table today, we have a couple really cool Lego Despicable Me 4 builds. We've got Gru's Family Mansion. Finally, the Despicable Me 4 Family Mansion to build. I have been looking forward to this one as it is most iconic in pretty much each of the movies. And then we've got several Mega Minion builds in the minifigures that look great. And the Banana Minion card to build it too. The two sets that I chose. Uh, from the four or five available uh, Despicable Me 4 Lego builds this spring. So follow along, let's go through these and see how Despicable Me these minion sets can get. Squirrel Stampede! Please like, share, and Squirrel Live! So let's get right to it with Lego Despicable Me 4 set number 75583 Minions and Gru's Family Mansion 868 pieces. And a perfect way to get a ton of Despicable Me 4 minifigures. Is that the whole movie cast? Obviously, it's all about the iconic Despicable Me house that draws us into this set build. It's something that's been around since the first movie, but not really reproduced in brick, so it's pretty special. Not so sure about this part, though. On the back of the box, so many things going on with this house build, maybe too many things. I see the girl's weaponized bedroom, a spot for Gru to sit, perhaps the downstairs minions layer, and an upper family zone. You could say that I wish they took all the pieces from the treehouse zipline build. There's always a zipline with sets like this. Had they took those pieces and placed them in here, giving us a larger house, that would have been better. But we'll see. Perhaps they're just setting the stage for like an eventual extreme collector's house or something. Inside the box. Stay clear, Minion Squirrel. Instruction booklet one. Oh, I hope they're not wanting us to build that treehouse first. They are. I'm so skipping book one first. And instruction booklet two. There's our house build. 228 steps of house building and a few other sets available. I skipped on the party bus so far and actually maybe I'll go back and pick that up as there are a few critical mini mini minions mini figures in there. That's hard to say fast. So it's better than I first saw on shelf. We've got a more fancyish Gru build with some of the minions and it's kind of cool and all but with so much to compete on our dollars I think I'm just gonna go with the basic minifigure sets. And then the Minions and Banana Car, which we will also check out today. There's really though plenty to do in just this set alone. Bag one, bag two, three, four, let's say five. Did you guess six? Keep going, it's gonna be seven. Seven bags of build, plus a few miscellaneous beams, and a very reasonable small sheet of stickering. So let's get back to the bottom of this pile. Where are we gonna start? So this one may set off everyone's OCD, but I'm gonna start off with bag three. I wanna see the house. I could care less about the treehouse part. I wanna see the house. And actually the Gru figure too. Gru should be in here somewhere. We'll start with pants, torso, stylish scarf, headpiece, and baby. So there is the Gru minifigure. There's a few ways they could have gone about this and this way they gone about this without the giant nose. Kind of a shame. But I don't know, for being so basic, I'm actually seeing Steve Carell in there somewhere. Is that who you're supposed to be looking at? Gru Jr. looking good too. What a cutie. Just for fun, if you're looking at it in the background, here's how Mega Constructs, Mega Blocks, Mega something did their Gru back when they owned the Minions license. This is the other way to go about a Gru figure. They'll usually typically go with mini action figures with the Mega line. Yeah, Lego probably could have done a custom head with this guy. Maybe done a little bulbous or roundish body too, possibly, but they went simple and I'm cool with that. Sometimes it's just nice to have the most basic represent what you're doing. With that, we got a lot to build right now. So follow through as we build through the Despicable Me 4 mansion.
right, let's slow things down here for a second for a toilet. The Despicable Me 4 nuclear powered toilet. Just behind this wall, swing around. You got a great place for Gru to go. You gotta have a bathroom in your house, of course. Is this an actual new piece, a little toilet paper roll, or is that like a door or a flange? It works perfectly as a toilet paper roll. Valve and lever. And we'll give Gru a little more privacy. We'll just spin that back around it, shall we? As for the rest of the build goes, we certainly have a very nice featured house so far. Now bag five is what I'm most looking forward to. As we have inside, Mega Minion Tim. Oh, by the way, we had constructed up Mega Minion Mel right over here with the long ocular minion goggle, looking good. But Mega Minion Tim, we were not able to find so far in action figure form, so I'm excited to see him. Plus, he probably has the best minion build with this very long noodly arm. So we're gonna first feed this through the minion armhole socket. He's gonna be really lanky. And we can add in some clip hands here on both sides. Oh, he's so funny already. Now we just have to get the placement of his uh, body right. I think we gotta play a little puzzle here. Start with the mouth, center, and then your Homer Simpson head. And one more, one more dome-shaped piece. Where did the dome go? Oh, it's by Mel. And we can add on a couple goggles. And it's Mega Minion Tim. So Tim is quite hilarious and kinda has a little bit of a feature here. You can take his arm and extendo either way -o, depending on what he's doing. So if you need a really, really long arm, just extend all the way one way, and you got this really, really cool long arm. We're just kinda meet you in the middle uh, for Tim here and quick rotate around. I can't wait to find his figure. I did see his figure like in a multi-pack, so maybe I just gotta pick that one up. But there is Tim and Mel so far, our minion builds. Highlight of this set for sure. And so now we get back to the mansion build, of course. We can go through a few more bags, see what we got. Alright, the homestead is mostly constructed, just one more Mega Minion. Mega Minion Jerry, me thinks Fantastic Four, the thing. Uh, let's get this giant headpiece on, it's a total unique build here. Unless this design was pulled from one of the older LEGO Earth Miners designs. Looking good, Jerry. So we have Jerry, we have Tim, and Ocular Blast Mel. Those are the Mega Minions that run with this set build. So I suppose we're not getting really kind of basic minions, they're all mega minions, but they're still really fun. Oh, and we have a cart. We have a cart to build too for Jerry. What, is Jerry so heavy and big he needs a cart? Well, we'll, we'll ooh, sorry Jerry. Well, we'll figure this out. So we finished the house mansion build for Despicable Me 4, but we gotta go back to those first two bags I skipped real fast. So bags one, and to the girls' treehouse accessory stuff. Really feels unnecessary. I want it to be more about the Gru house. Let's just quickly get those up and ready. And just like that, everything is constructed. There goes the neighborhood with Gru's family mansion, treehouse party area out the front door. I like this. I really like this. This, I really, I really don't care for this. And what's the deal? What's the deal with the zip lines? There's always the zip lines in these sets. The mansion family houses, I'm thinking Home Alone. Although that one was actually the legit because it was in the movie. Well, maybe this is in the movie too. Honestly, it's not that bad. It's kind of a cool little tropical build here with that skeleton doesn't belong there, but it's kind of fun. It's got some color. It adds some party elements. Maybe that's what they're trying to show is that the girls side, the younger girls 
party palace juxtaposed against Gru's darker mansion. I'll say it ten times though, I would have rather seen all the pieces of this incorporated into a larger house, because the house is pretty cool. It is larger than I expected, so that's good. I kind of was worried about its height, but it's pretty tall. We're looking at a mansion build height of approximately 11 inches tall and 9 inches wide. So it certainly has some good depth to it. It could have been a little larger. I'd love to see a fancier version of this. And there we go, inside again. Family quarters up top, large couch, lots of treats. Then we have Gru's room there with some axes on the wall, nice chair. The girls' armory bedroom with nice pictures on the wall. The bathroom we checked out earlier and then some accessories on the back side. And then this device over here might just be a water fountain and some other interesting accessories. And then the front door has some uh, security to it. So lots of little fun trinket items inside to add about and feature on the Groove Family Mansion. It's the front that I like the most. I mean, this is most iconic looking and will be immediately identifiable on any shelf. Oh, I just figured out this was the garage door. Look at look how narrow the garage door is over here. That's pretty funny. As for the family minifigures go, they kind of feeling a little plain. I'm good with Gru, Gru Jr. Not so sure about Lucy. It's hard to make a very tall, thin woman into a brick figure. She looks not like she looks. I think the same goes for Margot. Maybe taller pants would have helped on her. Edith probably has the most recognizable piece. Edith is looking pretty good. It's that cap on her hair piece. She's looking just right. And Agnes, nah, I just don't see her at all. So the minifigures are touch and go. Of course, who cares about the family figures when you got the minifigure minions? The Mega Minions turned out great in this set, and that's where it's really all about. The minions and the house and crew. But it's nice to have the family too. So let's add to this madness. Lego Despicable Me 4 set number 75580, Minions and Banana Car, 136 pieces. I feel like this is the perfect compilation. Huh? Compilation? What? Compilation? Companion. The yeah. The perfect companion piece to Gru's house, as now we'll get a few extra minions, including Mega Minion Dave, plus a really cool car. A banana car. Inside the box, instructions, very tiny. Bag one, bag two, and three. Sorry, Tim. So follow along as we construct up the banana car. and constructed the Minions Banana Car. Kind of a fun, quick, modular build. You can remove pieces and parts. There's the engine popping right off there. Driven by pit crew Ron right now. He is full of banana and blaster. Next up we have AVL Tim. You're gonna see a few of these Minions represented twice in this current LEGO line. So this is Tim before he becomes a Mega Minion Tim. He's gonna interact with these modular pieces here, this fan and this robot-like dude. Pop his hair piece off there. We got a helmet, a flight gadget, and I think we can switch out his eye goggles with this goggle set too. Mega Minion Mel, the artist, is here and he's drawn us up a nice banana painting. Very nice. And most importantly, the coolest one, Mega Minion Dave. He's huge, he's balloony, gigantic. He can lift a heavy, heavy engine in and out of this motor here. Let's counterbalance with a weight if I can. Oh, it's still a little, little bit over heavy. So Dave here, the strong man, included great shaped Mega Minion in the build. And back to the car. It's pretty simple, but it's banana all the way. And so there are the two builds together that I would recommend featuring and picking up first. And of course the party wagon is pretty nice too, as it has a few of those extra Minion character pieces you may want in your Despicable Me 4 collection. But I was all about the house. I had to see the house and a few Mega Minions and a car. That's where I'm at today. And they are looking really good. So Gru's family mansion adds in perfectly to the many Minion things we've collected so far this month. Like the action figures. We've had a lot of fun with the Mega Minions, so if you have not caught up on that, although I think 500,000 of you have, we've got the Mega Minion action figure review going. And good times with the Mega Minions. Heroes of Gujitsu. 
Lots of fun with these, check that review out too. And upcoming, I don't think we've ever done this before. We have Kinder Joy Treat Toys. Big gray is all over those. Yeah, so there's like six minions to collect in this great tasty toy series. I bought about 12 eggs because they're not too expensive. Found them on sale running about $2 a piece. So that's a quick way maybe to collect them all. So stay tuned for more Squirrel Stampede Despicable 4 minion action as we've gone minions crazy this month, this year, this spring, this summer. Lots of minions items still out there to look for. And uh, small things, two small minion collectibles. So we gotta look for those too in a few weeks. So stick around, check out a few other Despicable Me 4 minion reviews over here at Squirrel Stampede today. And there we go, Despicable Me 4 Lego builds. I enjoyed the family mansion. That was a good build. That's gonna stand well in say like a Christmas train layout or something fun and diabolical. If you liked today's video, please give us a squike. Squirrel Live, Squamit, your favorite minion of the day. What's, what's about the mega minions? Who's your favorite mega minion? You could place that in too. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget we still have some Squirrel Stampede merch going like t-shirts, water bottles, and a plush Landry non-minionized. Thank you so much for watching again. That's what I have to say about that.